Okay, this is a demonstration, hopefully, of the full capabilities of the V715 Geiger counter retrofit. This started as a Cold War error, low sensitivity instrument that would only respond to very high, like deadly radio levels of radiation. We have retrofitted it with digital electronics that make it one of the most sensitive Geiger counters available. First thing I'm going to do is turn it on. The up position is on the battery position and provides for display of radiation instrument, uh, in, excuse me, measurements on the screen on the front of the test set. Okay. Now, looking at this, I can go around and look for radioactive contamination, things that have a high level of radiation. As an example, I'm going to put it on top of this radioactive dish from the 40s. Okay, right now the fast measurement is reading 2.2, 2.3 MR per hour, and the lower line, which is just MR based on a 15 second count, as you can see, will catch up with that, and now it has. Okay, over here on top, I have the counts, which are going for a 15 second measurement interval. On the second line on the left, the display alternates between battery percentage and Geiger tube voltage. Okay, and that is the normal survey use. As you see, I take it away, the reading goes down, and uh, after the 15 seconds, of course, the lower line MR, which is the count based MR, will correct. I bring it back here, and it goes up again, bring it away, and it goes back down. So it provides a meter like instant reading. It doesn't have to wait for a count like other digital Geiger counters. Okay, I'm now going to turn it off the middle position and take it back inside. Okay, the other use of this instrument is as a fixed location Geiger counter that can be connected to the internet. So I have it sitting on the table here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug, you see that little uh, earphone jack on the side, I'm going to plug the cable in. This cable connects both to the power supply and to the net burner server in the back. It has a splice there where it feeds power to the instrument and sends data to the serial port of the net burner. Okay, so I'm going to turn the power supply on. Power supply is on. Then, in order to use this feature, I'm going to push the switch to the down position. But first, Let's look at the website over here. It says Geiger counter not connected and it still has the old count from when it was, right? So I'm going to turn the instrument on, push the, to the down position for the uh, internet support feature. And now we notice that it has uh, the Geiger counter not connected the warning has gone away and we are now counting. It says four after zero minutes and what will happen is it will display a count per minute, an estimated MR per hour based on the running count per minute, the Geiger Muller tube voltage and after an hour it will display the counts for that hour and the equivalent Miller RAM. It records the last eight hours of data and that is just like the previous, uh, in fact it's running basically the same software as the previous internet Geiger counter that was connected to this server. And uh, that is the whole thing. Not only can you take it out and find some radioactive material in the event of some kind of nuclear disaster and survey your area for freedom from radioactivity, but you can continuously 
monitor radiation online. Thank you for listening.